Say, are you an art lover? Or do you like puzzles? Well, if you answered yes to both, we got a story for you. Natural artist Lori Davis combines the two using tile, beads, stone, and other materials to create marvelous works of art. Well, we also have another treat for you as we introduce the latest member of our Crossroads team. Let's give a warm welcome to Miranda Cohen. Walking into Lori Davis's home is like walking into an art gallery. From an early age, the owner of Tangled Tiles knew art was her passion. All through school, I always took art classes, went to Clarksville High, was an honors art student there, and then I went to UT Knoxville and took all art lessons, watercolors, oils. Marrying her college sweetheart and starting a family as the pieces of her life started falling into place, so did her art. Lori fell in love with the intricate art of mosaics, stained glass, and copper foil. The copper foil method allows you to be more organic. Um, you can have lots of curves, you can cut smaller pieces. From there, I thought, well, why don't I cut all these pieces that I'm using in the stained glass? And instead of using 10 large pieces, I'll use 100 pieces. I don't know why, but I felt compelled to do it, and so I started doing mosaic. Lori's unique mosaics require hours of dedication, patience, and extraordinary skill in her in-home studio. When completed, each mosaic will contain more than 1,000 hand-cut pieces per square foot. Laurie Davis's pieces bring to mind a sense of real peace and serenity, but all of these masterpieces start in one place, a place she lovingly refers to as the danger room. It is a dangerous, dangerous room. Do not walk in my house without shoes on. I have glass in there. I have tile in there. And you know, the, the nemesis I think of any mosaic artist is that when you cut all this glass up and you have odd shapes, you're like, I can use that. So you put it in a box. And then there's like all these shards of all these kinds of glass pieces. Today, she is working on a new technique called 3D mosaic. This particular technique is awesome. I have to cut tiny pieces with my nippers, and you have to cut up the side of the glass. And I'll probably cut for two hours, and you layer the glass. You start with a very thick layer of glass that you cannot see through, and you build up with all these little tiny curved pieces, and you have to place them just so, otherwise, if you don't build a firm foundation, they'll just fall over or fall off. So it's like little bridges. Um, it's really, really cool. They're not like anything you've ever seen. And the results are stunning. As she delicately places each piece, small shards of glass start to form a beautiful seascape. I do um, all kinds of designs. I'm particularly inspired by nature. I like the chaos of nature. But yet, when you see the chaos in its fullness, you see the whole picture. I just think there's so much beauty in nature, and when you look at life and you look at motifs and design, I think that the light is so important. We're drawn to the light, and so I've tried to maintain that light value that I found in watercolors in my mosaics. I always want it to feel like there's some depth there and that the light will sparkle. Under Davis's steady hand, the smallest stones and jagged tiles will painstakingly evolve into masterpieces, often inspired by her early childhood trips around the volunteer state. I did a piece called Journey to Ruby Falls. I took a picture of one of the little lighted silhouettes when you're walking down the dark trail. They kind of look like little alien worlds, and I loved the colors. I love ocean colors. But for my tree of life, it was just my imagination. What did I think a thick tree of life would look that, you know, causes you to go, what an awesome tree, or wow, you know, life is good. 
perhaps her most sought after work comes from a love of her own alma mater. Her tailgate tables are in high demand. Tailgate tables are collegiate tables or logo tables. I would take tray tables and I would say I zhuzh them up and I make them special. People have an emotional attachment to that particular organization or school or entity. So when you think about college, you have all these memories that flood through you. Um, and so there's affinity, there's a love, I think, for that time in your life. I've had a lot of people ask for the Tennessee TriStar because to them it embodies the state as well as their school. Um, but then of course you have the Rocky Top fans and they gotta have their game day table. So, you know, but it, it just evokes a very, very special feeling. Laurie has handmade hundreds of tailgate tables for nearly every school. She also does other commissioned pieces, reflecting an important time in someone's life or a special memory. Sometimes people cry when they get their stuff and that makes me happy because obviously I struck the right chord. My favorite part is that it makes me happy to create these things. It just makes me happy and when I'm done, if other people are happy, that's awesome. And I love to share my work. I just feel at peace when I'm doing it. It takes concentration. Um, I, it just makes me happy.